What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to be opening up a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Rise of the True Dragon structure deck. So this is the brand new structure deck that has just been released today. You may have been able to even get it early. But anyway, it is kind of the redone version of the Felgrand structure deck that we received, uh, I don't know, it's been several years ago. I don't remember what it, exactly what year that the original Felgrand structure deck came out in, but it's basically a redone version of it, kind of like what we had uh, with the Monarchs getting a new version of them. And uh, so this is really cool to see more dragon support and here's the the card list too if you want to see that and uh, yeah let's go on ahead open this up and show you guys all the cool cards that are in the structure deck also uh, big and collectible sent me this to open up so be sure to check them out link in the description really awesome store they have all kinds of different Yu-Gi-Oh products as well as card fat vanguard uh, why Schwartz luck and logic I mean that's a new card game that just came out Pokemon just all kinds of card games so be sure to check them out link in the description Gonna get the there we go <laughs> the beginner's guide it's falling out all right we got everything out of there so here's the beginner's guide pretty much you know the usual thing you get from any structure deck so it's pretty cool and of course if you don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh at all you're better off still getting the starter deck over a structure deck because structure decks aren't really meant for beginners just in case people are wondering on that I know it's kind of obvious by the names but people still ask me on that I mean if you have a basic understanding of the rules I think you'll be fun with a structure deck but if you have no idea where to start you might just want to go with the starter deck. So here we are with the uh, the back of the playmat where it's showing you different combos and everything for the, uh, the structure deck as well as advertising some of the different stuff coming out like Dragons of Legend Unleashed is also there they're showing some uh, advertising for that which is pretty cool I'm looking forward to that set I think that's gonna have some really cool cards for us especially a lot of numbers so I can add those to my collection and then on the other side we have the playmat which is Pretty cool looking, actually. I'm kind of hoping they make, you know, just like with the other structure decks, it seems like all the playmats are pretty cool on their design. So I'm kind of hoping they make this into an actual, like, mouse pad material playmat. So that's really cool. And, of course, this is a paper playmat, in case you are wondering. I sometimes get questions on that. Unfortunately, in structure decks and star decks and everything, there are always paper playmats. So. It would be cool if they include, like, a mouse pad material one. But, yeah, here are the cards. So let me get them out of the plastic, and then I'll show them to you guys. All right, here we go. Fought through the plastic and got the cards out. So starting off, you get Art Brave Dragon. So this card is really awesome, and I really like the design of it anyway. And even the holographic looks kind of darker, too. So that's really cool looking. And then, of course, you got to get Felgrand. We have Divine Dragon Lord Felgrand, which uh, looks nice to see another redone version of Felgrand. I guess this is technically, what, the third form that he's had. You know, if you include the XC Monster, the Knight Felgrand. Then we have a uh, Dragonite of Creation. This card was added to the structure deck for us because in Japan they didn't get this in their structure deck. They actually got this card as a Shonen Jump promo or a V Jump promo. So it's cool to see they added this in for us, and it's a pretty cool card. So I'm glad they added that in for us. We also have Ruins of the Divine Dragon Lords and Return of the Dragon Lords for other holographics. So you get three super rares and two ultra rares. In case people are wondering, two ultra rares have gold writing and holographic pictures. Super rares just have holographic pictures. So. I get that question here and there on these openings, so just in case you didn't know. We also have Paladin of Felgrand, that's another new card for us. Guardian of Felgrand, again another new one. And then we also get a bunch of reprints and stuff too, which is the original Felgrand, which still looks awesome even today. Dark Blaze Dragon, Herald of Creation, uh, Decoy Dragon, those were all in the original structure deck. Red Eyes Darkness Metal, which is still an awesome reprint even today, even though it's been reprinted several times, always a great dragon card. Red Eyes Wyvern. White Knight Dragon, Dark Storm Dragon, Armed Protector Dragon, Evil Storm of Zok. Then we have Eclipse Wyvern, another really nice reprint. Then we have uh, White Dragon and Black Dragon, Keeper of the Shrine, Komodo Dragon, Jane Lightsworn Paladin, Eren, and Raiden. So you're getting some Lightsworns to go with it. Card Trooper. And then moving on to spell cards, we get Dragon Ravine, which is my favorite field spell because of Dragoonities and just a great card all around for anything that uses dragons. And uh, let's see, a wing beat of Giant Dragon, which is cool to see. I remember that from the original, like, Red Eyes uh, structure deck that we got from a long time ago, one of the first structure decks. Trade In, another great reprint for this, and that was in the original Felgrand structure deck, too. That was one of the main reasons people wanted it. Uh, Foolish Burial, Hand Destruction, Reinforcement of the Army, The Warrior Returning Alive, Charge of Light Brigade, Terraforming, always a nice reprint as well. Dragon's Rebirth, Burst Breath, Needlebug Nest, another great reprint. 
Breakthrough Skill, again, good reprint on that. Call of the Haunted, Oasis of Dragon Souls, and then you're also getting a token card, which is Dragon Lord Token. So we've been getting a lot of tokens from our starter decks and structure decks lately. So this is another great one to add to the collection, and it looks pretty cool. I like the design of that. I might have to try to get a, you know, five of those token cards. But yep, there we go. That is the structure deck. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think about the structure deck? You excited about it? Not so excited about it? Do you plan to pick this one up? It's not really the same as the Monarch structure deck where you can just grab three and then be able to, you know, basically have a meta deck. But I think a lot of these cards are going to be very useful for us. I mean, you can combine them with all the new Blue Eyes support we're seeing. I mean, we are going to get Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon uh, pretty soon So with the movie pack and everything. So that means that uh, this is another reason to pick up the structure deck because you can combine the Blue Eyes support with Fail grand and everything too and like I said well anything that involves dragons so I think it's awesome and uh, I've been looking for the structure for quite a while and I'm glad to see that it's finally in a TCG but yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys think, and also, if you could choose any of the structure decks to get redone, kind of like how the Felgrand one has and the Monarch one has, which one would you choose? I'd like to know what you guys think. For me, I think I'd like to see that uh, Rock structure deck, the one with Exod, I think was his name. I'd like to see what they would do if they remastered that one, just because I think that could be something really cool, and I like different Rock monsters anyway. And it has, like, Sphinx monsters and stuff, too. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Of course, like this if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! opening videos, because anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! what's in English or Japanese, we do openings on, so be sure to subscribe to stay updated. Like I said, we we even opened up the uh, Japanese version of this structure deck when it first came out for Japan, so if you guys want to check that out too, I mean, that's uh, one of my past videos I've done, and uh, you can kind of see the differences on the structure decks. But again, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!